I, which is receive and discuss mid-year update of the Selective Traffic Enforcement Program, the STEP program. Good evening, yeah. Chief Loomis. Good evening. <laughs> Chief Lemons, good luck to you. Yeah. Kenny, good luck they're to calling you, you back there. I know. <laughs> well, you know I oppose this program. I got your back. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be referring to page 132 of your packet. Um, this is just to give you a little taste of where we are. Uh, the STEP program began in October of this year. It will end in August of this year. Uh, the number of enforcement hours to date are uh, 406 hours worked. Uh, we're projected to work 687 hours. Uh, the speed citations are currently at 1176 uh, with a projected number of 1550 by the end of the program. Uh, Occupant safety belts are about about 50 percent below where we had projected the 45 as opposed to projection of 100. Uh, we're actually a little bit above on the child safety restraints. Uh, I had the uh, sergeant that's over the uh, step program at the police department to include uh, also the warnings. So we do issue warnings in the step program. We've issued 45 at the time. Uh, an important thing that uh, I think will be important to you is that uh, uh, the sergeant uh, that's over this program reviews every ticket that comes through as it's uh, turned in at the end of each day or each period that's worked. Uh, no tickets in the STEP uh, program have been issued for under the tolerance policy of 10 over. Um, and um, the mileage uh, was about 3,800 miles that have been driven on that program. I think it's important for the second half of this paper, though, to bring kind of those numbers into perspective of what I just told you. Uh, the regular patrol, uh, non-step, uh, have issued 1,156 warnings during this same period and uh, 904 citations. So we've actually issued about 250 more warnings than citations in that period on regular patrol, which uh, I would accept it if those two numbers were reversed, we would only be 250 more citations. I think it's phenomenal that we're 250 more warnings than citations, which I think is the direction that the city wants to go, which I think also uh, is a good, uh, it's a good litmus test to some of the accusations over the last couple of years about Lockhart being a speed trap. Uh, it if you eliminate the STEP program, uh, just regular patrol duties, we actually to this date have written about 250 more warnings. So we're actually more of an emphasis on the warnings. A uh, couple of things that I think are worth noting here is the collision rate I've watched for the last year, and it still is holding at about 22 to 25 collisions per month. Um, a couple of instances uh, involving the STEP program, I've had uh, numerous uh, discussions with the city manager and with uh, the city attorney concerning exactly how we position ourselves to clock people with a laser radar. Um, we traditionally don't like to clock people coming downhill because it appears as though we're trying to gain that extra couple of miles to get the 10 over. Uh, <coughs> There's a couple of instances, one in particular that's uh, just been very recent where the officer was working, which seems to be one of the, one of the, I guess the place that's the, the most uh, uh, violated in terms of speeding is around that new bridge. Um, Ditto. The officer was clocking northbound up the hill and so what we like to be able to do is to show up in the municipal court and say this is what they were clocked at and they were actually gaining speed uphill. 
Uh, this particular instance, and there's been a couple, uh, car crested the hill southbound downhill and at 57 miles an hour, 22 miles over the speed limit, still continuing to gain speed, and the officer wrote him a citation. Um, at 57, he locked it in. I don't know if they would have gotten to 60 or 59 or 58. At 57, he locked it in and 22 miles an hour coming up on a, a traffic controlled intersection with a, with a traffic light was just entirely too fast. You might find three or four instances like that sprinkled through these 1,100 tickets. Uh, they've had pretty strict instructions. We don't like to ride them downhill, but in two or three instances, we have left that discretion to them. For instance, that one that I just uh, cited to you. Um, during this same time, I also failed to mention the mileage, which I'm not sure it's really important to you, but uh, uh, year to date, the patrol cars have traveled a little over 80,000 miles, uh, it, which is easy to see how many miles we put in a year on the cars. I'll, uh, You're trying to say those new cars already wore out? I don't wore out, but they've got a few. They've got a few miles on them. An average of somewhere between three and four on duty at any one time. There are times when there's as many as four uh, on an overlap. Maybe five on an overlap day during a peak hours. Normally, it's uh, two to three. Uh, there is in the in the grant. There is a uh, goal. Of, I guess a, a, you would say of an average. And that average, when worked out, comes to that that number that you see under that column of 15. Now, well, if you're, if you would change the projected figure there from the uh, set budget figure, and just make it a figure that would be based upon your experience for the first seven months. I just did one calculation. It would come out to 642 would be your projected number. I guess what I'm leading up to is the fact that uh, uh, when citizens get unhappy about speeding tickets, they normally indicate, oh, they're just making their quota. And in fact, it looks like we've made a quota here uh, at the beginning of the year. We're not far off from what the actual figures would be. But all I'm saying is if you take a 407 on the hours there and apply it at seven twelfths, you would get a figure of six forty two. So I, all I'm saying is that uh, uh, that might be a, a additional way of showing this uh, figure in the next year's report. Um, I, I think that uh, when this grant is created by the state, uh, there are surveys done in terms of. Uh, uh, I know there were issues in years past where you saw police officers in plain clothes with a radar or running radar, and what they were actually doing were monitoring traffic and making notes for the survey to see out of how many cars. They counted cars, and then they counted how many were uh, between uh, the speed limit and five over, and et cetera, et cetera. And when the state takes those into account, the population <coughs> into account, uh, the traffic into account, they come up with what they call a goal of so many citations per hour that uh, that should be for that particular set of circumstances. Did you use that to produce the projected figure here? I used the uh, the amount per hour that was in that goal, yes, sir. Well, thank you. 